every week now, I do a bit of a brainstorm as to what video I want to put out on a Sunday. What better video to make than to do 10 productivity hacks for students, especially because we're coming up to exam time. But then I was like trying to do a work yesterday, found out that I had a lot of assignments to do, I was at meetings, everything was seeming to pile up because we're just back from Easter break. And I got really, really stressed out. I was looking outside the window in college and thinking to myself, why do I have to do so much stuff? And so I thought it would be a better idea this week to make a video about one boy, how he deals with stress in college and trying different methods to relax myself, building up to exams. And we're gonna kick things off with a fresh start to the day. I'm like, what's the hope? Where you been? What you know about? Oh no, who let him in? I'm a show him out. Never know who's really down and just down and out. Never know who's really down. I'm, 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 I'm like, what's the hope? Where you fresh, been? What you know fresh chop about? Quiet. Sometimes I get this girl who seems like she's Russian or something. She doesn't give a shit about student haircuts because they're only 10 euro. And she just whips through the fade in about four minutes. I don't know how she does it. Yeah, I wanted to start my day off with a haircut just to mix things up because if ever, anyone's ever felt this when you're just in a rut and you're not as productive as you want to be. Hold it down, I levitate. I like a woman that's all natural, like give a good energy and let it reciprocate. Yeah, yeah. A young nigga that's trying to innovate. I've been in ways to so This is something that Jake Brown brought to my attention probably four or five weeks ago. And every time after I go to the gym now, I go to the sauna for like 10 or 15 minutes. Unfortunately, I don't have time this morning to go to the gym because we have to do something later, which I'm going to tell you guys about. But uh, we're going to kick off today with a bit of, as they call it, tepidarium to like relax and shit. So it's GoPro time. So UCD has like an unreal gym. Not only that, it actually has two of them and it has a swimming facility. So for ordinary people to get a membership, it's like, I asked around, it's like 800 euro, 700 euro. So we're so lucky that we get it for free slash that it's embedded into our fees. There's a tepidarium in like a private changing room over there. And there's one outside as well. So we're gonna have to get changed. Time for a locker transition. And now we're dressed, got our water bottle. And uh, yeah. Now it's time to go to the sauna to get all sweaty. Sick. Apparently there's really good health benefits doing the sauna. Uh, I'm gonna pop up some statistics on the screen about mortality rates, so I would highly recommend if you don't wanna die early. Feeling good now. We have a lot of other stuff to do today, which calls for another good transition. Hopefully this thing will stay open. The second thing I love to do, obviously, is vlog. You guys know I've been doing over like 150 vlogs in my entire time in UCD. Today, it's quite topical. We're coming up to April time. We sort of hooked up with Fulfill. I asked them, could I get like an order of eggs? And then we're gonna go around campus dressed as... One second. A big old rat. There is and Maura gets this, catches this. She gets a free Easter egg. Thanks, Tom. Hi, ma'am. And Tom does just does such a good job at like making sure everyone on campus knows what the fill is. He just does. Look, all the society. I'm just a cool guy, okay? The way this is gonna work is you have to answer a society's related question. We're gonna give away all of our Easter eggs in the first go. Can you name three different student societies? Yeah, the UCD Hispanic Society. DE, Law Sock, Nutrition Society, Nutrition Boom, Society, that's three. Um, Archaeology Society. That's one! Archaeology Society. Correct. Yeah. Could you name a ball that will happen in UCD over the coming weeks? Any ball? The food ball. Did you guys go to science ball this year? Yeah. yeah. You just want a free Easter egg. Yeah, if you want one, boys, you're gonna to have to go to Queen. The last six have to be given out to Queen people, so. What do you What am I just taking? Uh, all of them? What, are you guys members of any societies out of interest? Yeah. I'm gonna go. Very good, and? Um, no, nothing. No. <laughs> Can you name one coming to Guayla event that's gonna happen over the next like four or five weeks? Anything. Oh, okay, yeah. Ah, when is that on? Um, the week of. Okay, we're back in action. It was actually only an hour later. Uh, we are here in a little storage room which looks like a death chamber. Oh my God. Next little tip 
de-stress yourself is to do something that you enjoy. This is like a little law open evening type thing that they're starting that they've never done before. I did a video for student recruitment, which is this. I just graduated in December, so in a lot of ways I can relate to where you are in the process right now. That wasn't that long ago. And they saw that and they liked it, so then they've got me to do this. It's like a new event, they just need footage for next year to promote it and stuff. And so yeah, that's for the next hour and a bit, that's what we're gonna be doing. I got lint all over my trousers from the Pink Panther thing, so I had to do this. All right. Done. Thankfully most of it's gone so we can get to shooting, but uh, yeah. Now it's time to work some magic. What does that even mean? <laughs> to have a look at the Masters in UCD, particularly in human rights and to speak to some people who know more about it. Good work. <laughs> Yo, I was filming that thing till like four-ish. My foot is banned at the moment so I had to hobble back to the office to give a set, put a steady cam on the desk for James. Then I came back to here, I took some photos at an event that was going on there. Now I'm going off to a talk which begins in six minutes. This is an example of a typical day for me midweek in college. So for half the reason why I'm making this is because I know this is said all the time, but like Irish got people, in particularly guys, I don't think talk about mental health enough. There's definitely been points this year where dealing with doing college, freelance and my society's job and doing YouTube that you know I felt like imploding sometimes. Like if ever, I've always said this phrase to myself, I want to throw myself under a bridge. Not literally, but you know, you're just overcome with all the stress. Even though YouTube is a bit of work, the, the way I get to express myself through the video helps relieve some of that stress and it helps uh, take my mind off things. People say, talk if you have like a problem with your mental health or something. You can always talk to a camera because it's never gonna talk back to you. But yeah, we're going off to talk now with Nal McGarry. The interesting, another way of de-stressing I find is to like meet and talk with friends. Uh, I may have to give this lens to James, so once I transition, you know what's gonna happen next. We're gonna find out if I still have this lens. Boom, what is up? It is the following day. Not too much to report from last night. Didn't get to talk to your man. Today is another busy day in college. I wanna do, a oh, Today is another busy day in college. I want to give a Today is another busy day in college. I want to interrupt this stress video to give you guys a bit of an update from UCD. Today and yesterday were student union elections. As you can see, 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 a lot of people in t-shirts all around Newman. And there is all these polling stations where people can vote. Did my civic duty earlier on and got my vote in in Quinn. He made the sunshine right out of your eyes. Oh yeah. Got my philosophy essay back. I got a B. Go team. Yeah, so sick. And then one last thing to finish today. Let me check my phone here. How dramatic is Thomas Arnold? That guy goes above and beyond for the YouTube. So you better, you better like the video. Any, any questions? Or comments or haircuts anytime soon. This is still recording, fair play. Yeah, it's only yeah. like one percent left. Thank you to Alex for recording that clip. Like or subscribe. Children waiting for the Bish, how well prepared are you for this exam? Pretty prepared. I did quite a bit of work. And if I fail, I blame it on you. I've had a long and beautiful journey with accounting. I got I got a D in accounting. So I've passed all my accounting modules so far. This is worth, oh we gotta get some revenge. Arnold! Frederick! <laughs> it's only worth 20% so hopefully we can we can smash it, can we Fred? He's getting 10%, I'm getting 11. Isn't that what we discussed? <laughs> yes. <laughs> right Fred, do a transition. Three, two, one. What's the hope? Where you been? What you know about? Well ladies and gentlemen, it is the next day. Oh f Right, this chair is small, we're gonna get another, oh, we're getting another chair. Better. Ladies and gentlemen, it is the next day. The Kenting exam went pretty well. Hopefully I got 8 out of 20. Haha. <laughs> you think I'm joking, but I'm not. <laughs> 
So while I do this whole protein shake thing, I guess I want to give an explanation. Like this week in college, I can't express how much stress I felt over the entirety of it. And it hasn't even ceased, hasn't even finished. Well, I think the last tip I'm gonna say is that what I found out today was that getting good sleep is massive. That's what she said. I had a solid nine or 10 hours sleep and I woke up today feeling a lot more refreshed. That's definitely a good way of dealing with stress because I think for some reason, one of the first things we think of when we're trying to get more work done is we cut back on sleep because the narrative is almost like one less hour of sleep and you can get more work done. Like I found, <coughs> I found anyway that that hasn't led to, you know, me being more productive and stuff. But overall, I wanted to share it because I know there's, there's a lot of people out there who are gonna be stressed at this time of year. Not only college students, but people doing their leaving service, people doing their junior service. Um, I don't know, maybe junior infants, you're doing your multiplication tables or some shit. I just wanna know you Nine plus 10. <laughs> 21. I wanted to share that um, and we're gonna see what this tastes like. Bro. Ew, there's a hair in that. You nasty. Anyway, gentlemen and women, I know this video was probably a little bit wishy-washy. I don't like how talky it was. I want it to be more funny and back to skits and stuff. I'm gonna do that next week. I can promise you, you are not gonna want to miss next Sunday's video. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Let's try and get it to 100 likes because thumbs up have been down recently and stuff and everybody's saying give thumbs up if you watch these videos on a consistent basis as well please turn on the notification bell because it means you get like a notification every time i upload and you'll never miss one apparently the algorithm's f***ing up people and whatever the f so uh yeah click the bell as well other than that i will see you guys sunday at 8 30 p.m peace